Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Those who are new, welcome. Today we are playing Death Throned, and it's one of the Get Shot IO indie play games. And let's just get right into this review. So you got three different classes. You've got agility, destruction, and the wise wisdom, wise guy, uh, the wise. And it's uh, I'm going to go through and it's going to be agility, then we're going to go destruction, and then we're going to go the wise. So, the agility. It's going to go through this little tutorial at the beginning. I kind of nice and I tried translating it and I can't spell correctly. And it, it tell, pretty much just tells you what the heck they are. I use Google Translate. I took Spanish, but I don't remember any of it. And it was two years. So this is what the product of it is. And... This is pretty much a customization menu, rinse and repeat for all three characters. Yeah, and I kind of, you go through, you kind of just see what you want. Do you want to like lose some damage uh, and decrease the amount of mana needed, increase damage, increase mana, stay the same and have like custom effects. It's just nice to go through and kind of figure out what you want to do for that. I spent a little more time than I like in here figuring it out because I wanted to get uh, kind of the best loadout possible for each one. Everyone's going to play it a little differently than like what I do to like what you might do. This is just what I did. And so we got this. We got the hand pistols. It's like little pew pew sounds or bang bang. Then the AOE spell. Um, Hand Sword Slash, these are not actually the names of the spells, these are just the fun little names I gave them uh, throughout. I, I found them fun to, you know, give, uh, like, what is the name, like, Hand Pistol is actually called Quam Fragment, AoE is Arcane Explosion, and Hand Sword is Magic Slash, so they actually do have names, I just chose to give them fun little ones. And as you play through, you're gonna learn like what spells go good with one another. And my biggest issue is I kind of run out of mana. Uh, you have 100 mana, and it regens really quickly, but I kept on running out a lot quicker than I would have liked. And then you start off with a thousand health, which I probably could have gone with a little more because, well, I, I didn't realize you don't regen health unless you go to a certain fountain to regen health. Here's um, destruction. You got circle spell. Fireball boy. I actually like this spell. Model. And then magic shotgun. So their actual names of it. circle spell is desert trap. Fireball boy is quand missile and magic shotgun is quand spell not spell spread man i cannot speak it is 105 a.m when i'm recording this and oh boy oh boy and out here which i kind of found nice to see and they do attack you these are the ones that i'm attacking right at this given moment are a lot easier and man i, I found them the first ones I would take out before I took out like the spell casters. Um, and it, w it was just interesting trying to figure out what guns worked better with one another. And the level design was really nice to see. Um, what I would do is I'd go into the first room I came across and then I was working counterclockwise. And then clear every room in that contiguous room. And this is kind of like the overpowered spellcaster. There's two different spellcasters. You got the little weaker one, like this one here, which they're easy to take. And then you've got the big mama one. And the big mama one can heal the little baby ones. Um, and I found these guys got stuck often. If you can get them down there and then you get them stuck on this ledge. They're a free kill, which they're easy to kill alone, but they're even better when you can attack them um, when they can't attack you. That's what I found to be probably the better of them. And here's what a treasure room looks like, and you can open it, and it tells you pretty much what spells and stuff you can get. 
it every time it's uh, just random potluck, which I kind of found nice to see. And level design here, I actually kind of like this level design. One of was one of my more favorite ones for attacking. It's not the prettiest. I'll give you an example of a prettier level later on at the end. But I liked it because it was kind of simple. And uh, another thing to point out is you want to collect these um, and put them in these little tower things in here. And it's kind of in the progression of, it's not really the story, but the objective of the game. Um, comment down below if you want me to change story to like story slash objective because it, it varies. And then we got another spell here, which name, my fun name's gonna pop up in a couple seconds. Here it is, the trap spell. You're gonna notice by how it works is it kind of traps them in. And the actual name is called Explosion Flame, which I found to be just some overpowered spell. And it was just probably one of the best spells for me to work around with. Uh, I did speed this part up to times two speed, because I didn't want this running on and on. I had an hour plus worth of clip with just the destruction guy. I, I played through this way too many times, and it was well worth it. I, I really enjoyed playing. And then last but not least, we got the wise guy. And we got the air cutter spell, which was an alright spell, it wasn't my favorite for him. Then we got the bouncing explosion spell. It does a nice little bouncy bounce before hitting, but if it does hit the target before it explodes, it will blow up on the contact. Which, and then we got finger light, which kind of reminds me of Star Wars. But real names of those spells is Quand Moon for Air Cutter, Bouncing Explosion spell is Quand Ball, and Finger Lightning is Electro Chain. This was another one of the cool level designs that they did and implement. Um, I did speed this one up because I realized I, this video was running up, was pushing 20 minutes. And I, I, I'm one that doesn't like sitting down and watching a 20 minute video. If you want to see like a full video of like no double speed or anything, I'll be more than glad to do that. But I did want to play through all of them completely. And Destruction was probably my favorite one to play through. Um, and then it was probably The Wise. He was probably another really fun one to play through. And I didn't really like agility. The attacks just weren't strong enough to my liking. Um, each of them took a different strategy, which I did like. But this one was just not to my liking. And that, that's my take. I'm sure someone else will be like, oh no. The, the agility is a lot better. And then I'm going to talk about the graphics. Look at the reflections, the, love, the design on this level. It is just so beautiful. It was well put together, and it was a little more demanding than some of the other levels, but this was probably the prettiest level out of the entire game. And, you know, it's our favorite. The final boss. The Guardian of the Abyss. And once you gather all three of those little crystal gems, you get to battle him. And there's two different stages. You have this stage here, and then you got one stage where he calls out a little minion, but we'll save that for another video if y'all want. So, how do I rate? Enjoyability, it got a solid 9 out of 10. I really did enjoy playing this game. And con controls, it got an 8 out of 10. They had nice, simple controls scroll wheel swap between spells. It did recommend a controller, but I saw no need for a controller. Visually, it got a 9 out of 10. Um, it was amazing visuals. That last level that I showed you before the boss was probably the best visually compiled one of all the levels put together in one. Each of them had their own aspects. There's some with lava, some with none. It was just kind of nice to see. Sounds 7 out of 10 wasn't too memorable. I did like some of the sounds, but there was some room to improve in this. Story slash objective. Um, I got a seven. You know, it was self-explanatory. 
go to the little diamond on the map, put it in, progress on. Not, not too hard, so overall it got an 8. And I do give this game a solid thumbs up, and I recommend all of y'all to go out and try it. It was really well worth the time to go play it. And thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and click one of the things down below to um, watch another video, subscribe, or check out a playlist. Thanks again, and see you in the next one. Peace.